just coming on to pass a bit of time. Yes, yeah, so I've had a strange couple of weeks. When I say I've had a strange few weeks, that means it had to be really, really fucking strange for me to think it was strange. But yep, it's been a strange one. I'm feeling quite good myself, healthy wise and all of that kind of thing, but it's been a lot of shift symptoms or whatever, I don't know. For the last few days, pretty pretty heavy stuff. Intense. Intense. Uh, I have a lot of stuff going on, getting my teeth sorted out, basically. Uh, all usual stuff that people have with uh, family having health problems. Some people with coronavirus. Some people with cancer. It all adds to your stress. So I decided... I'm going to come on and instead of talking about anything I normally talk about, I'm just going to play the game. For just for escapism for a couple of hours. I'm not going to bother doing anything that I normally would do. I'm basically doing escapism. I type that in twice. It doesn't matter anyway. Hello, hello. Yes, well, at least the days start getting a bit longer from here on in. For the rest of the year, we get the up the upward swing of the pendulum. The pendulum has reached its lowest point, and it only upward swings from here on for the next six months. It can only improve. Uh, in all fairness, it hasn't been all that bad here. Uh, other than if you're like if you actually watch television, things might seem like stuff is bad. But in reality, it's not all that bad. Uh, it's only like it's actually probably it's probably be, been a lot better than most years. Uh, I spent the whole Christmas on my own, of course. But in a lot of ways, I do like that. But uh, it, it makes things a lot easier. But then there is a certain amount of anxiety. There's a lot of stress because of all the stuff that's going on with family situations. I also have my own teeth getting sorted out. A lot of things happening all at once. But I got through it all so far on my own, relatively okay, with no support of any kind whatsoever. Um, I pretty much during all of this period given up all of my medications as well, which is kind of a strange thing to do. When a lot of stuff is going on, I decide I I was I was already going to do I was already doing it over a long period of time that I was giving up the medications. So I wasn't going to change that just because a few little things was happening around in my life and so on. Uh, I don't know how seriously I can take situations that are going on around me in my life as well. I don't know how seriously you can actually take it. Like uh, It's the same for all the rest of us as well. But. I'm not really in a good situation where I can do a lot of talking either uh, because I need to get my teeth properly sorted out and I have another week or so to wait. It's kind of hard to talk when uh, you've got uh, mouth problems and you have to wait until it and be and have patience so I'm just going to play a fucking game here for escapism for a couple of hours maybe if I even feel like playing it for that long see how it goes 
if I get into it, if things go well or if it goes shit, it depends. Tell you what, I'll do the sudden strike Crimea because I don't think I've actually done that one. I know I wrote down Normandy, didn't I? On the name of this stream. Let me see, maybe I should kind of change it somewhere. I can remove myself from the stream. That would be a bit strange to do now, wouldn't it? I can't remember where I went before to... Uh, oh, here it is, I think. Okay, whatever the name is I put on it, we'll have to stay on it at the moment. It looks, oh, here it is. See, this is the kind of stuff, I'm going to change this to Crimea because I don't think I've prayed. The Crimea is the hardest one. But I just need to do something to pass a couple of hours. Absolutely metal this one is, but... I'm going to go ahead and start it now. And yeah, this one is the toughest that I played. Oh, this, oh, the ones I got here, but uh, I could probably fly through the start. The first time I played it, I flew through that start. Then it got into a bit of a stalemate. It's been a while since I played this too, but I won't forget how to play it. Like. this game you keep pushing forward basically it's after landing advance deeper into the peninsula your task will be complicated by the enemy's solid defenses and fortifications primary objective advance and secure the bridgehead over i need to get myself switched on here now before i start because if i'm not switched on i'll be annihilated uh, and I could be annihilated anyway. Uh, you need a certain amount of luck with this too. Good timing is handy as well, but uh, I could literally get one, three, and two finished, possibly really, really quickly. And the way you're meant to play this game, um, I figured out eventually, It's not the way I'd like playing it, but you need you really need to build up um, a mass of as much of your stuff as you can and then throw it all um, at the next objective that you're going to. And if you if you can at all to have it to have your to have the attacks that you're actually throwing at them backed up with um, long range artillery, which does come in eventually. Um, it's not a good idea to stall in this game at all, because if you stall, it'll constantly keep sending out the same units over and over and over again. So, the real way to play this particular 
battle is to keep pushing forward. Uh, if you don't do that, you're just going to constantly be fighting against the same guys. It is actually kind of tough. Now, as I said, I might end up doing the first one. I do the f number one first, number three. I can build up, just once I take this one, I can build up um, a large amount of equipment and stuff. Uh, it works out, this is a, a handy one to use in a protected position, then you kind of need to set up a, a perimeter on, on that as my base area. But as quickly as possible, you really need to be taking every one of them. And then you've got the big problem of there's millions and millions of tanks in this area and millions and millions of tanks. And if you don't, if you take out every single tank that's in it, and you don't take the area pretty much instantly, um, all of those tanks come back again, which is literally like ridiculous amounts of tanks. And I, I ended up taking them out maybe a hundred times. And then every one of them, uh, because the battles are so mental, that all of my own equipment was burnt out as well. All of theirs was burnt out. And by the time I got more stuff coming in, all the tanks were back again. Uh, you really, I, I realize how I should have done it now was I should have maybe just thrown half of it into the battles and then had some back in reserve. But you might know, you mightn't have got it. You need them to go into a retreat. It is actually very tough, this. It's very, very tough. I guess just once you get the one, two, three done, you think, wow, this was easy. I didn't expect it to be so easy. And then it, you seem to get totally into a, a, a stalemate for the very last little bit. It seems like it's only a little bit that you have to do, but you never, you never seem that you're able to get to that point. You can't take it one little piece at a time because they'll keep coming and counterattacking. There's a big hill area here. I tried to take that in about a hundred different ways. But if you do take it and you don't take the rest, uh, they, they send in thousands of tanks again. So yeah, you really do just have to keep pushing forward in this one. There's no other way of doing it. And you don't, it just, it's not the way that you'd really want to be doing things. There's no control really over what's going on as such. Reinforcements have arrived. Absolutely annihilated here now at the moment. Thank <laughs> you. 
fast. Yeah. 
Батиста на связи. Fucking town, boy. Yes, 
принят. Пойдем, Рогато! Ага. 
сейчас принят. Enforcements have arrived.
Enforcements have arrived. Понял, товарищ команды.
reinforcements have arrived.
geldi. Enforcements have arrived. Probably could pause the game. have arrived.
sound like you hear them banging somewhere.
It's a whole lot of drunks, basically. The closing times here is eight o'clock at the moment. So I presume they were all out drinking all day today and they're going home now, falling down the street. Old vaccinated sheep, I guess is what you'd call them. I guess they might as well enjoy themselves while they're still able. It's another way of thinking of it. If you call that enjoying yourself, you know what I mean? Like people puking their guts up and falling down the road. That's that's called enjoying yourself. Toxic. Toxic. That's what I mean. And the sad thing is, they're all young people there. They're not allowed in anywhere unless they're vaccinated. It's kind of sad, really. But that's what the banging was. Some drunks. Kicking at something. As they do, I suppose. Usually you get that around 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning. Every week, but uh, it's earlier now because let's see what situation have we got here. They're not allowed, you see. As far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't mind if they actually banned alcohol altogether, but that's because I give it up. Yes, this game is fucking relentless, this one. It's not going too well for me here so far, but... Uh, not going too bad either, I suppose. I should have had this taken already with some flame drawers. It's what I need here it's just to get rid of this fucking. That's the first part of the game, I think, is to get that bit. I should have had that done by now. I nearly have the number three done already. I wanted to keep some of those long range, but it looks like I'm after blowing them all up. I wanted to keep some of the long range yucks. Did I not destroy the artillery? Maybe that's all I had to do is just destroy the unit. I thought I did. This thing here. Looks destroyed to me.
Ik ga springen. Als je nog naast bent, laat maar je Мы в ловушке. Enforcements have arrived.
Reinforcements have arrived. Reinforcements have arrived. Objective completed. I want to keep them. Reinforcements have arrived.
Just reinforcements have arrived. Reinforcements have arrived. Reinforcements have arrived. Into positions. Reinforcements have arrived. Just so happens I finished a couple of missions at the same time. Short. Yes.
Сейчас. Минут. Reinforcements have arrived. Reinforcements have arrived. В вашем распоряжении. Выдвигаюсь. Reinforcements have arrived. Выполняю. Reinforcements have arrived. Reinforcements have arrived.
Hold on there, this candle. Yeah, a lot of brain dead people around, there's no doubt about that. I always thought that, anyways, but uh, it seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, a lot of it boils down to the education or the non education that people actually get nowadays. They really are stupid. They're, you really do need to be, you need to have some kind of education, a broad education to be able to have a grasp of what goes on in the bigger picture in the world. And if you don't have any kind of education, you're just going to be stupid. And that's what they want. They really want everybody around to be really, really stupid. The vast majority, they want most people stupid. Most of them are naturally very, very, very stupid. It's gone quiet out there now. So that was basically what normally would be happening at 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Happens now. I'd say that guy who was running a new chipper would be saying to himself, I'm not going to bother. He'd normally have the chipper closed. A person who runs a kind of a chip shop with fast food and stuff in it, pizzas and that. He'd normally close that before all the people come out of the pubs. So now he's getting caught with everybody coming in, pissed out of their minds. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that nowadays with people coming in that way. You just don't know what they want to do like. And they are capable of doing anything because they really don't know what they're doing. When they're that pissed, they're totally blank. I used to be an alcoholic myself. You don't remember a thing, maybe for 12 hours out of the day. And during that time, you could have done anything because you're going around unconscious. The fact that you don't remember it means you were unconscious during that period of time. And it is stupid. It's stupidity of the highest. But it becomes part of the culture here. They see their parents doing it. Uh, up to a point anyways uh, it becomes like that's the normal thing to do and then they grow up and they do the same thing it's acceptable and that is considered to be having a life to be enjoying yourself very very strange when I look back but that is the way people are brought up with the culture absolutely everything in Ireland ends up in the pub that's where all the socializing of all kinds is done. All the weddings uh, ends up in some kind of pub situation. All the funerals usually end up some kind of pub situation. Uh, any kind of birthday parties, any kind of party you can think of is a pub. There, any, every thing that people associate with the happiness in their life is in the pub. Of course, that's a kind of a, a ridiculous statement because they're not happy when they're actually pissed, but that's what they're taught that that's what the normal thing to do is. And um, they don't remember anything. Then they're then then the next day they don't they feel like shit, they feel depressed, uh, all of that kind of shit. I mean of course I did do it myself and I was one of the worst out there, but I was never a prick to other people. I never tried to bother other people. I, I wasn't violent, as in starting fights with people and all of that kind of stuff. But it seems that it gets a lot more that way nowadays. There was people like that in my time as well, of course. It's just not the kind I am. I'm not a kind for starting... Well, I might start fights, <laughs> talking shite and stuff, but I never. I wasn't really that bad when it came to actual violence and that. 
whereas some people are more of a nuisance, you know, a, a nuisance kind of a drunk. And anyone who's drunk is a, is a fucking idiot anyway. I haven't heard one person who was drunk who wasn't an idiot yet, but uh, I'm about to leave that at that because uh, I had enough of it for the moment. I just, I don't even, it was about, I was only on for about an hour. I actually got through a good bit there, but that game just keeps going that way. You take an area, they take it back. You just keep going, you keep going. Eventually you get enough, you get enough uh, tanks and trucks and all of that into positions. You have to do it fast enough as well, or you'll lose them before you get a chance. And you need to have your artillery set up at the back, which I'm trying to get done there now. Um, I'm going to turn this off and maybe start again to do a stream about maps or something like that because people will just think I'm doing one on the game and I'm, I'm sick of the game already. I did play through that game before. I'm not in the mood. It's just too chaotic, that particular one. You have no control really over it. You just have to keep pushing forward, pushing forward. It's not the way I'd want to be doing it. And it's more like a World War I kind of effort where you're just throwing everything at it. You don't really have a huge amount of control. Uh, you might get a position nicely set up for yourself, uh, all, you know, all covered off, and then the next thing, a big counter-attack comes in and just takes it out. The little airplane will just fly in and blow up your four or five long range tanks that you got set up and it just keeps going like that. It's more frustrating than anything that uh, out of all of those ones I played, the the most realistic one I thought would have been the uh, the one going into France. The Normandy, Sudden Strike Normandy. It's probably the most realistic. That one there, you just have to keep throwing everything at. Iwo Jima is a different type as well. It's easier. It's probably the easiest of these. They're all off the same game. It's Sudden Strike 3. They all came off. Which, uh, I'm not in the mood for any more. That's basically the way that game goes. You just keep... Eventually, you get enough. They will keep giving you more and more um, supplies. But uh, the next thing I need to do is take the next position, which was over in the top right. You get that one taken quite easily. And then you need to keep pushing forward from there. So what I need to be doing is getting as many tanks and stuff together into that one spot on the bottom left corner. And then you have to throw all of them up at the last position all together. Yes, I might do it tomorrow. I actually might end up getting through this really, really fast simply because I actually know how to do it. It took me a while. I was trying to play it like the way I would normally try to play a game, using a little bit of not trying to get all your men killed, but the way you do this particular one, you just have to keep throwing everything at it constantly. Just keep throwing them forward. Which is not a good way. If if I was one of those guys, you'd be saying, uh, or whoever's in charge here does not give a fuck about us whatsoever. And in this particular game, that's the only way you can actually do it. Yeah. I might start again now anyway. And uh Do about a different topic altogether. I, I'm just not in the mood to continue with that particular game. Because I remember the way it goes. As I said, I actually, it's possible that I actually nearly could finish the whole thing in a couple of hours because I know how to do it. But uh, it's, a, it, it's a very high frustration game. It's, I don't have as, that much fun playing it. it, it, it 
What's the point in playing a game with that make you a bit frustrated? But, uh, yeah, that's why I was avoiding playing that one, basically. I have gone through the whole game before, but I'm not doing it right now. Anyways, 